So what are your predictions into the future? What else are we going to see with AI? Well, AI is a huge topic. And, and I think one of the things that maybe to take away from any conversation about AI is that it's here to stay. It's only going to get more sophisticated, more intelligent, better. And that's not something to fear. That's something to pay attention to and something to get excited about and happy about. I, I think when we think about generative AI, things like ChatGPT, the kinds of industries that are at the forefront of the impact are education. So certainly the way that education will be delivered and created and tested has to change across our schools and across our universities and globally as well. And certainly other areas like marketing or any kind of content derived areas, including media as well and journalism, as we've spoken a lot about. So how do we get on board? How do we, I suppose, familiarise ourselves with AI, even if we don't want to? And and I suppose accept that it's not something we should fear. Over in America at the moment where there's the, the writer's strike happening, one of their big concerns is that AI is going to take a lot of acting jobs. Um, how do we balance that? How do we embrace AI if, if you do have the fear that it could take something away from us? So I think, I think what I love about the culture that we have as, as Australians is this kind of give it a go attitude. And so sometimes what you see is that people of various different generations, people in their 50s or 60s or 70s, just picking up new tools and saying, let, let me just give it a go. Let me just see how good it is. And if it's good, I'll use it. If it's not good, I won't use it. So I think thinking about it in terms of what it is that you're trying to do and what, what, what it is that your job entails, you become better or more efficient. And if that's AI, brilliant. If that's not AI, don't worry about it. Look for masterclasses, look for education, look for other people who are into it and just ask questions. And I think stay curious. Also, I think with regards to bigger shifts, like in what you see in the strikes in the US, it's really interesting to note that a lot of that strike is not necessarily about AI, but it's about the business models behind AI, providing equality of profit and distribution to the creators and the actors that are making these shows, that are writing these shows and so on. So while AI gets kind of pulled into the conversation because it's in the realm of technology, that those conversations are really much more about streaming and the way that we distribute profits from streaming. Looking into the future, I, I've noticed one of the um topics, I suppose, or something we could expect is more self-driving cars. Do you think we're going to see a generation of, of students stopping to learn how to drive? Look, it, it, it's a great question. And self-driving cars is one of those things that we were promised a while ago, and it had not really come about for various reasons. Or it has, but, but not in the way that we thought it was going to. Certainly the technology is here, but it's taking a bit longer. I, I think the thing to understand is but a few centuries ago, 80% of the workforce was sitting in agriculture. And we all had skills to grow things and to look after crops and so on. Now, less than 5%, perhaps less than 10% of the workforce is sitting in that area directly, which basically means that our skills have evolved as, as workforces. And I think what AI presents is an opportunity for us to evolve and to develop our skills. And I think if you're in your 40s like I am, or, or perhaps in your 50s or 60s, so certainly a lot of Australians, according to the survey you mentioned, are, uh, don't really understand the upsides of AI. They certainly understand the risks, or they certainly kind of worry about the risks, but they don't really think about embracing AI or the upside of AI. And to those individuals, including myself, I would just say, just stay curious, stay interested, have a go, pick it up, see if it's useful. Don't be daunted by big words and by big expressions of big technical people. And I think if we don't do that collectively as, as a nation, as a set of industries, I, I think we can really move our AI adoption ahead as a country. Dr. Michael Collo, key speaker at the CapTech event happening in Sydney in October. Thank you so much for your time this morning.